I remember the first time laying eyes on him thinking, what's a guy like that doing in a place like this? I mean, soft-spoken, small frame, just wants to do his own thing. Talked about his business in New York, about how excited he was to get out of prison and be with his family. You know, you know everything that he was trying to do with his car, car parts business between the U.S. and Egypt. I mean, being at the wrong place at the wrong time, being picked up and uh, spending six years in prison. The first letter I wrote to President Obama out of prison, I remember going to his prison cell and begging him to co-sign this letter with me. He was too scared. He just wanted to coast because he knew he was innocent and he thought that the Egyptian justice system would somehow acquit him of things he never, he, he didn't do. So the impact that Mustafa Qasim had, not just on me as a friend, but on the direction of the organization, and whether it would continue or not and how it could continue. And I think it will continue to shape that for a very long time. We can't stop doing this. We don't have a choice. And we gotta keep doing it. We gotta do it better next time. We gotta make sure that another Mustafa Qasim doesn't happen.